Chapter 6 is called Pearl. Pearl is Hester's daughter that uh, we met, you know, as a baby at the beginning of the book. But uh, in Chapter 6, she finally has a personality. She becomes a real person and is given a name. So you have to first look at her name and think about a pearl, how a pearl is created. Um, if you know how a pearl is created, they... Uh, form inside of a, of a shell of a mollusk and uh, they're started as an irritant like a piece of sand and then layers of calcium build around that and it creates this precious um, material, this pearl is very valuable but it begins from an irritant, some problem. Pearl was purchased with a great price the great price is the sin that um, her mother committed and the resulting loss of uh, her mother's respect and rep reputation among the uh, community that she lives in. Now it's already been mentioned that there's a connection between Pearl and the scarlet letter that Hester wears. Um, for this reason, Hester dresses Pearl in red clothes, bright red clothes, with the finest materials that money can buy. So she's always dressed in this red, scarlet color, and the connection is clear that the scarlet letter and pearl are both, as uh, mentioned before, they're both tokens of Hester's sin. Pearl is a wild child. I don't know how else to put it. She is described throughout chapter 6 as um, various terms such as an elf, a sprite, a fairy, a fiend, a freak, even a demon offspring. And the idea is that she is wild, uh, she doesn't follow any rules. Hester tries both frowns and smiles to control her, but as um, Hawthorne writes, she could not be made amenable to rules. Hester is trying to raise Pearl in a Christian household, um, a Puritan home, and tries to raise her with religious lessons. Uh, she asks Pearl, who made thee? And uh, can you tell me who your Heavenly Father is? And Pearl says, I have no Heavenly Father. And of course, this is very upsetting to Hester. Hester's trying to raise Pearl as a single mom, trying to teach her um, a, her religious lessons, and Pearl just will not have any of it. And so by the end of chapter 6, you just get this impression of a wild child with... Um, who will not follow any of the rules, who won't listen to her mother, who won't follow her, her religious instruction. And that takes us into chapter 7 and 8, which uh, involves the governor and some of the leaders of the town wanting to remove Pearl from Hester's home.